I didn't trade Jeroxus. A lot of people are having good results with him. But he's pretty boring, right? So no dragons and no pirates. Okay. I feel like pirates were banned almost every single game today. Interesting. The thing is, Jandis in mech lobby and Ragnaros are so freaking good, you probably have to Finley for one of them. Ready to, get started? to at least try your chance. Nosdorm or Yorg? It's a good Yogg start. If you hit a rock pull here, you roll. If you hit a Humunculus, you freeze because you can get token or you can get uh, triple. In which case you either play aggro or you freeze. It's a good start. Ha, we beat the Lich King. Can you play Barov once? Nope. I'm not, I'm never gonna play Barov again. Every single time I play Barov, I top eight and like stream snipers are just effing me. You never want to play Barov when you're streaming. I wonder if this is a freeze. It's a lot of stats. I'm missing out on two stars though. I'm not sure if it's worth missing out on two stars. But you can get triple on this, triple on this, I don't know. I think it's worth it. Two stars are so bad that like rock playing human colors are premium. Well, we got bomb. No, I'm not sure if I want to freeze for the dupes. I thought you never want to freeze one stars. It's different when you're playing Yogg. Mm. It's still probably worth freezing. Because you can just buy Rock Pull and then roll Hero Power. And again, if you triple, it's insane. You're not seeing Ragoza. <laughs> oh, really? Did you hear him, guys? I'm not seeing Ragoza. I don't want to heal a power here. This is so much better than other options that it's not worth the 50-50. You really never want to hit Hyena. And you don't really want to hit Humunculus either. No more freezing, that's it. Have you played Nefarian this patch? I think I haven't played Nefarian for like a year. <laughs> Ever since they put Unstable Good into the game, Nefarian just dropped in power level. Everyone's gunning for you. Watch out. Okay. That's very nice. Next turn, level up, 
Sell the 2 2 hero power. Um, no dragons. So I want a 5, not a 6. The way I play on this patch, if dragons are in and it's not too greedy, I would rather go for a 6 because Kalegos is really good. But without dragons, I like going for 5 because 5 is Bran, which is like the one of the best units in the game. And Nomi is okay. Nomi, Little Rag are okay, but people overrate them so hard. People are like, oh, Nomi. Like, I'm never going to pick Nomi or Little Shit over Bran. Bran is like the MVP on this patch. <clears throat> At the same time, okay, I'm talking too much. L let me show you visually what I'm going to do. So now we go up, we do this, bomb. We hit a triple, so it makes our life much easier. If I wouldn't hit a triple, next turn I start with hero power. If I hit a hero power, I might actually go for a six just because it's good tempo. And yeah, now it's obviously go for five. Um, Little Rock scales. Baron Rivendell doesn't. Baron Rivendell has some synergy that we don't really need right now. Yeah, I think you have to pick Rag. Okay, Rag is at its best either with another Rag, with the five, mon five star guy that discovers elementals, or with Nomi, and with Bran. All of those are five stars. Which means, I want to go to Tavern 5 as quickly as I possibly can. But, next turn, the cost of going to 5 is 8 gold. It's a little bit steep. So I want to spend one turn, one turn, on Tavern 4, roll, get stronger, and then we go to 5. Sounds good to me. Uh, Blue Monk 88, thank you for the 6 months, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Congrats on winning Group A. I'm back as a sub now. See ya at Worlds. Wow, people subbing because uh, I'm doing well in Constructed. <laughs> Thank you. I'm playing a lot of Constructed uh, this week. And I'll try to still stream quite a bit, but I'll stream a bit less than I would stream on a normal week. Hope you guys don't mind. I'll do my best in the weekend, try to make Worlds, and then full focus on the stream. Did you win yesterday? Yeah, I won. So I'm super motivated for the playoffs. I always want the jug here. And nothing else. A roll. I don't want to buy shitty elementals. I don't have Nomi yet. So we roll. Not the biggest fan. Aren't shitty elementals still worth buying for little rag buffs? No. I'm not gonna buy a one star and spend two gold on it to plus one plus one a random minion. That's why I'm thinking that's why I'm saying that little rag works really well with Nomi. Because Nomi wants to buy every single minion. And then little rag is like, sure, let's buy every minion. What do you have to do to make worlds? So, in the group, I have to win one match out of two. So I have two chances to win one match. And then I have to win a semi-final, win the final. So I have to win three matches. Sounds doable, but if I lose in the semi-final, I'm out. So, I have one life to win one game out of two. And then I have to win two in a row. If I lose, I'm out. Thank you, Georg, for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I, 
I, I, I can get the way with hero barring here. Yikes. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trip. That's what I would have picked. That's the worst one. Better hire a recruit while you can. Freeze? Freeze? Yes, we freeze. I want Poisonous for the rock pull and I want another Tempest because it's a good buff. Tempest is worth buying. It's basically I'm spending 2 or 3 gold for plus 4 plus 4. That's good enough stats. Who are my opponents? Um, my group is... Psycho Ties. I'm playing the winner of them. And then the fourth player in the group is going to be somebody from Division B that wins one match. We don't know yet who he's going to be. I want to focus a bit on Balgrans. I think I talked a lot about GM. I already will stream less today because I want to practice for GM. So I want to focus on Balgrans while I'm streaming Balgrans, if you don't mind. Who is favored to win? I am. The only player I'm afraid in the entire uh, tournament of is Casey. And if I face Casey, I'll just hire him. Other than Casey, I'm not afraid of anybody. I want to go for Bran first. Better hire a recruit while you can. Bran or Nomi, come on. That's a good one. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the Nice. I want the jug as well. I need to kick Humunculus. Maybe Humunculus was worse than the spawn. Mm, they're very similar in value. I gifted subs and I don't have a present next to my name. Why is that? Uh, no clue. Professional Twitch streamer, by the way. Maybe you have to refresh. If refresh is not solving it, I don't know how to help. I know that if you gift one sub, you get a box near your name. Any defeat that doesn't destroy you makes you strong. Roll first. Big Pog. So first you play the little rag, then you play the tempest. Now you get Amalgadon. I do taxes. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Clutchy. Clutchy. 
How was this turn? Freeze for Cyclone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh... Yeah, I ended with 3-3 three, three over 4-4. Four, four. Please, don't, don't, don't talk there, lol me. It was an honest mistake. Yes. Limsy as well with the 31 months. Thank you. By the way, I was saying that <laughs> this turn was fire. <laughs> I get it. Uh, I was saying that it's not worth to buy elementals for little rag. Well, if you have two little rags, then it's definitely worth to buy elementals for them. The dynamic changes a lot with the second uh, little rag. Now it might also be too late for Nomi. And while I might still think I can have time for Bran, I don't think I'll buy Nomi if I, even if I'm offered it. Uh, Arun Core with the two months as well. Thank you. So many subs. Thank you so much, guys. And the Rakesa. 83. Raiska, sorry. With the two months as well. I don't know if I buy every elemental. It's probably worth it. It's a lot of stats. Ooh, we're missing out. I think I have to sell this for the stock spin. I don't want to heal power because if I miss, I have to reroll and that sucks. I'll just open like this. Like, I don't want to go for a 1 in 5 and if I miss, I have to freeze. Does anybody know when the four arena tickets expire? I bought the Balgrand's perks, but I don't intend on playing arena soon. I don't think they ever expire. I I hope I'm not wrong. I think they just whenever you want to play arena. But I recommend playing now because we have the Halloween arena, which is like probably the most fun arena ever will be. The Halloween event actually makes it Nice. Oh, shit. Dude, this is so cheesy. Don't you guys think it's super cheesy? I mean, that's the meta game right now, but it's still cheesy. Freaking pouring like, divine shields. Are you a Blizzard employee? I'm not. I used to enjoy Halloween Arena. When, like, the only thing you could stream from Hearthstone was constructed. Back in the day before Battlegrounds. Streaming the dual class arena was a nice break. Now I still would, have, would probably rather stream Battlegrounds than still dual, stream dual class arena, but... It's pretty fun. I want to toss him back into the pool. Do I ever level? I feel like I shouldn't. I don't know, there's a lot of really good six stars. Take the spore. YOLO. This turn I still got much stronger. Main reason to level is there's a lot of six star elementals. There's a Malgodon and then there's the Jin. The Genie. The Genie is something else. 18 plus. <laughs> oh, and Gar. I forgot about Gar. This guy is actually not weak. I'm actually super lucky with attack order, but... This guy is scary. Did he have a chance? He has a chance, but... If my minion would die to his second guy, I would probably still tie, but... Hmm, interesting. 
If I wouldn't fight Ghost, I would never level here, by the way. Okay, how do we play for first? Well, that's how. <laughs> Duh. Ah, uh, my ex knight is bare, but Jean buffs by so much. Do we want to buff? I want to just Jean and cycle it. It's plus 12, plus 12. It's like a million stats. Better hire a recruit while you can. Pretty bad rolls. Ah, uh, so he's Tavern 4, which means he cannot have Amalgadon. So if he cannot have Amalgadon, we want to open strong, right? He can with Zerus? Yeah, I'm not playing around that. How is he doing so well then? Tavern 4. Why skip Selemental? No money. Selemental is also what? So you spend one gold on it, right? Because you get two gold back. And it buffs by... Plus one, 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 plus one. It's plus four, plus four, worth of stats. Spread across like four minions. For one gold. It's not really that good, is it? Do I win? I cannot calculate, he has too much poison us. Well, we kind of nailed his poisonous minions. Or most of them. Uh, what? <laughs> Can't wait? It, it, does it stack? It does stack. Do I keep it? Or do I just play it and sell it? Your minions really pulled their weight. Maybe I should sell it. I don't want to sell the Murloc. Go big or go home, I always say. Okay, I'll kick the Murloc. Should have put the 4 1 first. Or not? I'm favored. This one should have been first, actually. He would kill his whole board. It might still kill his whole board. See, Little Rug is very good, if you know how to use it. Might be better than Nomi. It's kind of like a little Bran. It's worse than Bran, but it's very good. Yes. Sardiners, thank you for the sub. I feel like that's like the toughest thing to understand in the current meta game. When to play Elementals and when it's a bait. But basically... Elementals are playable, dragons are playable, murlocs are playable, demons are sometimes playable, menagerie is very playable. Just avoid pirates like they're the plague 
Like, never play pirates. Like, never play pirates. And demons also try to stay away. Mechs are fine. Divine shields are very good. Poisonous is very good. Poisonous divine shields is even better. Is George playable? Yeah. The way you, the way I play George is like just get spores and like divine shield them, get fragments, divine shield them, and just like try to build a divine shield comp on Tavern 4. That's I think a good way to play George. <laughs> 